tumbleweeds i'm back in my last video i talked about how i was thinking of getting um a blue eddy so that i could keep from having to run my generator all the time to keep my batteries charged up the starlink uses a lot of power and i have two televisions in the van i did it I ordered a Blue Eddy AC300 with BK300 battery and a 350 watt solar panel. And it was in a lightning deal, I think they're called, a lightning deal on Amazon. I got it for $2398. $2,398. And the next day I went to uh, look to see if it, when it was going to ship and I noticed that the lightning deal was over and the price is now $3,999. So I saved $1,600 <laughs> by ordering it before that, during that lightning sale. And um, whoa, I'm kind of glad that I did that. So I had the uh, items delivered to um, the alpaca farm. So I hung out there for about a week waiting for my stuff to arrive. And uh, it just barely fits in the van, but it's totally fine. It works fine for me. It's just me living in the van. So I can handle a few <laughs> cables sticking out here and there. But it started getting very hot in Snowflake and I ran all the propane out of my van. I have a 10 gallon tank, so I ran out eight gallons. That, that's pretty much puts it at zero percent uh, in three days. That's how hot it was. <laughs> so I made reservations at the Encore RV Park in Sholo, which is, I've stayed there several times this summer, in spring and summer. And uh, when I went to hook up the power in my, at my site, uh, I had um, plugged it in and the lights turned blue at the power pole and the light was, was blue at the van and I could hear the air conditioner kick on. And so then I started hooking up the water and when I looked over at the power pole, it, smoke was coming out. So I <laughs> frantically ran over there and lifted the lid up and flipped the breaker off and yanked the plug out. And I looked at it and part of the receptacle and the power pole had actually melted to the power plug. Um, luckily, it did not hurt the van. So I'm, I'm very thankful for that because it could have been disastrous. So I'm definitely gonna get a uh, surge protector, whatever. I, I can't remember what they're called for RVs, but if I had had one of those, I. I, uh, I would, it probably would have fried it, but you know, I wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't have fried my cable. So I ordered a, another 30 amp cable. I got a 50 foot one this time and it's going to be delivered at uh, Amazon Locker in Flagstaff. And I don't know if you can see the trees behind me, but I am at Sunset Crater the volcano um, and there's it's Forest Road 545 I think so there's a campground here and it's um, $30 a night there's no utilities no no electric no water no sewer uh, but they're very nice spots and it's $30 a night but I have the um, National Parks Senior Lifetime Pass so that gave me 50% off so that's fifteen dollars a night. So I thought that was pretty pretty good deal. It's a very nice park. So um, we're here for a few nights, and uh, then I'm going to be heading to somewhere else soon. Hopefully, I'll I'll get to go visit the the crater and and show it to you. 
Uh, I have, I've been here before, but I've never <laughs> gone to see the Sunset Crater. So hopefully we'll remedy that before I leave. But um, so going back to the, the power station. So it came with a 30, 350 watt uh, solar panel that folds up and uh, it's very thin. It's probably about this thin. It's really heavy though. I store it in, in the front of the passenger seat. You know, Piglet rides in the seat with it turned around. So I just put the solar panel behind her. So that worked out pretty good. But the cable on it is so short that I, I can't put it very far away from the van and, and have it still reach the battery to charge. So I ordered a 20 foot cable extension, solar panel cable extension, and uh, had it delivered to the Amazon locker and Flagstaff. And when I left this morning to go pick it up, it was nice and sunny out and after I picked it up at the Amazon locker, it started raining on the way back to the campground and got very cloudy. And now it's very overcast. And so I'm still not going to get to test my solar panels out fully because there is no sun. <laughs> but let me show it to you. I also had to use the full extension of my Starlink because there are trees everywhere here. So I had to put the Starlink way back here in order to get good enough service. So I just have the solar panel laying flat because there, there really is no sun and I'm not sure what direction it's, it's probably coming from up there, but, uh, I think it should, if the sun does come out, it, it should work fine laying flat like that. But this is how short the cable was that came with it. That's all, that's all that it was given. So I had to uh, attach this 20 foot extension and I feed it through the window and I have the um, inverter and the battery sitting uh, under the closet in inside the van and uh, it's being charged. If the sun will ever come out, it'll be charged from the solar panel. Um, so I'm a little disappointed <laughs> that I can't test it. Also, I wanted to test to see if I could run the air conditioner on it and of course <laughs> my 30 amp cable got fried, so I don't even have a cable, so I'll have to wait until I pick that up. Well, it's supposed to come in on Sunday, but let's see how much solar we got coming in on the van. I have three 100 watt panels on the roof, and oh, I'm getting 0.4 amps. A little while ago, I was getting zero, and then let's go see if we're getting anything on the solar panel for the Blue Eddy. Twenty-two watts. <laughs> now, when I tested it out at Bob's, when it was nice and sunny, I was—I uh, think the highest I got was three hundred and twenty watts, which is pretty good. So, here, here's my setup. There's not much room in here to show you, but this is the inverter, and uh, this is the plug that po uh, connects to the solar panel. And then I, here's the 300 BK battery. So this is a 3000 watt inverter and the battery is 3047, I think. So I've been uh, plugging the Starlink into it. And when the battery, I mean, when the solar panels are hooked up, it has a surplus and I saw I can run the solar, I can run the Starlink and I can run the Apple TV and I'm going to get an extension cord so I can plug in my television and my um, sound bar here. It's my television and my sound bar. Um, and so I can plug those in there too and that'll save some power on my van batteries. 
so what do you think about it piglet what do you think about the new solar panels and batteries what do you think about the weather you think it's pretty nice and cool so you probably like it she could care less about the battery <laughs> Well, it's been sunny on and off today, and I finally got full sun on the solar panels, and it was up to 317 earlier, but now it's at 297, so I need to go out there and turn the panels a little bit, I think, but I started out at 33% this morning, and it's charged up to 38%, but well, that hasn't been very sunny. It's mostly been cloudy, so... We'll see how it goes today. I don't know, it looks like it's getting full sun to me. Maybe I need to clean them off. Maybe this one needs to be twisted around. I'm gonna move it around. Piglet is sleeping with Lamb Lamb. Poor baby hasn't been feeling good. She pooped her bed last night and the night before that the night before that. So we've been just hanging out here at the campsite today, not going to make her travel anywhere. Poor baby. She feels better because tomorrow we're going to the Grand Canyon. Yay, right Piglet? <laughs>